Hey guys, couple of tips for tomorrow. Everyone's toughest obstacle, the twister. I'm gonna give you a few tips how to get through this obstacle as efficient as possible. First tip, we're coming in, if we have muddy hands or wet hands, we wanna give our hands a quick wipe. If our hands are good, don't even think about it. We wanna pick our run leading into here about 50 meters before. So when you're coming here, you're not actually thinking about what run you're gonna do. That's, that's losing valuable seconds there. Um, big tip guys, I'm gonna come here and I'm actually gonna pull the twister down so my first run is ready to go. Uh, for me, because I've got a little bit of a longer uh, wingspan and if you are tall, you can lean out a little bit further. That's uh, less distance to cover. So the first one I'm gonna do is if you've got really good grip strength, we're gonna lead through just with a normal swing. So I'm gonna come through here, swing, get good grip, swing. Uh, you can grab onto the truss as well. So swing through there, across. Making sure I've got good grip before I'm leading through there. Back across again, I've got good grip, now I'm leading through. Actually give that bell a big whack as you finish. So that's probably the most challenging one grip wise, but you're skipping more runs with that one. So it's very efficient as well. Apart from my grip being a little bit sore, I'm not too, too tired through that one, but I'll run you through a couple of other ones as well. Technique two guys, the lockout. So this is gonna use a lot of your bicep strength through here. It's probably gonna be the fastest to get through too. I'm gonna to show you guys how to do this one again. So we wanna get our lines as close as we can before we start. See how there's like a bit of a straight run so I'm getting started. Again, I'm gonna lean out as far as I'm comfortable with. What you wanna make sure as well is that you're not swinging too much through these swings. So then you're putting extra weight onto your grip. So I'm gonna come around, turn like that. Still got my grip. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm gonna come through using that lockout technique. In the middle, you can use that one too, just to get your grip. Again, I'm getting that grip before I go. Now I'm coming back through the twister. Again, use this one to get your grip again. Make sure that you've hit the run down before you start through there. And then we're coming back through all the way to the end. This one too, I like to turn around, but you can hit it backwards. Whack the bell, you're out. Alrighty guys, we've made it to technique three. This is the safest one to get you through twister. So this one, I'm gonna come side profile and I'm actually gonna match my hands as I come through for this one. Firstly, I'm gonna make sure my runs are as in line as possible so I'm not having to reach over through the twister. Again, I'm gonna come out through here to the side. I'm gonna come across, matching my hands along the side like this. Again, it's really safe coming through there. I'm gonna get my grip onto the truss through here. And I'm coming across through there, that side profile. Again, I'm probably spending a little bit more time on the bar through here, but it's very safe with my grip through there. Again, this is a good one just to have a little rest if you need to, and then back. You've got the final run, guys. If you make it to here, you've got to get all the way to the end. So again, I'm going to match my hands, cross through there, straight across. And when I'm close enough, I'm going to swing and hit the bell.